Good evening, church family, and thank you so much for joining me for evening prayer tonight. So glad to be able to pray with you all online every week. Well, here we are in Advent, and uh, we're going to continue what we started last week, which is exploring some different liturgies from different resources uh, in our Anglican Communion. So tonight we draw from Enriching Our Worship. This is a liturgical supplement that came out in uh, 1997 with some new canticles and uh, some of the prayers that we know, but with some new language, and I uh, thought it might be nice to pray evening prayer from that uh, tonight. So tonight we also remember Ambrose, Bishop of Milan, in the year 397. So I know you don't have uh, enriching our worship at home, probably, um, but I'll guide you through this and... Um, even if you're not saying every word with me, um, I know we're praying together and God knows that too. So we'll be, we'll be all right. So it starts with an opening sentence for Advent. Arise, O Jerusalem, stand upon the height and look toward the east and see your children gathered from west and east at the word of the Holy One. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise to the Holy and Undivided Trinity, one God as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Now I'll say a, an antiphon. Before and after we sing uh, the Venite. This is a canticle that you may recognize from Sunday morning worship. Uh, if you have a hymnal handy, this one's in the hymnal. It's S35, the Venite. Our God and Savior now draws near. O oh, come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In His hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are His also. The sea is His, for He made it, and His hands have molded the dry land. Let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand, oh, that today we would hearken to Our God and Savior now draws near. Come, let us worship. And now we'll go to our psalms. First, we'll sing the Phosphilaron, Light of the World. This is a different setting from what I usually use, coming from Enriching Our Music, the companion to Enriching Our Worship. Light of the World. Oh, 
Now I'll read an antiphon before I read part of Psalm 134. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You establish the moon and sun. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You establish the moon and the sun. Our reading tonight comes to us from the Gospel according to John. Then each of them went home while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They said this to test him so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. When they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with a woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. I will respond with a different canticle. This is something that I think fits very well at this point in Advent. It's called Canticle D from Enriching Our Worship, A Song of the Wilderness, Canticle D. A very simple chant. Let me chant this for you. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened, and the ears of the deaf be unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The ransomed of God shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Now the Apostles' Creed. I think this is the same as the one 
we all know. So if you have a prayer book handy, since we're jumping around here, uh, this starts on page 96. It's almost the same, sorry. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayer. Let us pray. O God, who gave your servant Ambrose grace, eloquent, uh, grace eloquently to proclaim your righteousness in the great congregation and fearlessly to bear reproach for the honor of your name, mercifully grant to all bishops and pastors such excellence in preaching and faithfulness in ministering your word, that your people may be partakers with them of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope, that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and the breaking of the bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll create a little moment for our own prayers. I want to invite you to lift up your prayers wherever you are. Leave a few moments of silence. Whatever's on your heart, feel free to lift that up to God. I invite your prayers. God of light and hope and peace, we lift these prayers before you tonight as our souls wait, as our bodies wait, as our whole presence is focused on our preparation for you, our preparation for new life, for new hope, for new joy, for renewed peace. God, we pray that you allow us to be grateful for all those ways in which we saw you today. We pray that you help us be mindful of those ways where we hunger to see you, those places where we yearn for your presence, where we yearn to see you in someone else, in our situation. We long to see you even in our hardship. God, we pray that you continue to guide our way through darkness, through storms, and through joy, Lord, to your eternal kingdom. All this we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. Well, thank you all for joining me tonight for evening prayer. Hope you can see how uh, it's very similar to what we normally pray and how there are a few differences as well. But I think it's always refreshing to pray in a new way and to find um, a new way to come together and, and worship God. Y'all be good. Stay warm and uh, I will see you next time. All right. Be blessed. Bye-bye.